This idea of mastery learning was always kind of this gold standard. This was actually as a, a part of a fellowship I had while I was at MIT called the Eleranta Fellowship to make a learning software for students with ADHD. And it immediately struck a chord with me because going into that, the whole, the whole premise of the software that I was working on was this idea that it's not that students aren't capable of learning some advanced mathematics or that uh, the topics are actually difficult. It's more that they just have gaps in their knowledge. And I did a lot of tutoring in high school and I saw that over and over again that the reason why students were having, my, my friends were having trouble with algebra or geometry, it was just because they had a, a gap in their negative numbers or dividing get decimals or, or logarithms or, or whatever else. Good students start failing algebra all of a sudden and start failing uh, calculus all of a sudden, despite it being smart, despite having good teachers, and it's usually because they had these Swiss cheese gaps that kept building throughout their foundations. Now, a lot of skeptics might say, well, hey, this is all great philosophically, this whole idea of mastery-based learning and its connection to mindset, uh, students taking agency over their learning, makes a lot of sense, but, but, but it seems impractical. philosophical core of Khan Academy is mastery learning and everything we've built whether it's the video library the articles we have the 70,000 items the game mechanics that we have on our site it's all in service to mastery learning